This winter season, the frigid temperatures won't show any mercy on the animals who've been left behind in the cold. Animals who've been abandoned and neglected. We need your support more than ever this season. Please go to our website and subscribe. Please join and help in spreading love like butter. And if you do, you'll receive a couple belly laughs, chuckles, and a better handling of how to cook in your very own kitchen. So don't delay. Please subscribe and buy some merch. Thanks for listening. His name is Jim. He's got a cooking channel. Welcome to an all new episode of Edible Ed's. Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy New Year. It's uh, we celebrated Chinese New Year this week. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. The year of the tiger. Growl. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing real good, staying healthy and safe. Uh, before we get started on this episode this week, I, I'm itchy. Um, we're, uh, before we get started, can you please, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and our other family vlogging channel. I greatly appreciate it if you if you do that. Um, if you check down below, there's a link to my all new website, edibleeds.com. It's pretty cool. There's a uh, cool stuff there. Uh, check it out and subscribe to all the for all the fun stuff. You don't want to miss out on all this fun stuff, right? That's what I thought. So please do that. I appreciate it. Thank you. And like I mentioned before, we are celebrating Chinese New Year. So I decided, um, how about I make a really simple recipe uh, in honor of Chinese New Year. How about I make my Edible Ed a super stir fry. It's a bunch of different veggies, but the kicker is the delicious, super simple stir fry sauce. It's simple, it's super simple. It's very easy, a couple ingredients, like I think I said that already, I don't know why I keep repeating myself. I apologize, thanks for your patience. <laughs> yes, like I mentioned, it's very simple, so how about I stop talking and start cooking? Yeah. Let's get this recipe going. Add some low sodium soy sauce, water, honey, and lime juice to a bowl. Whisk to combine. Set off to the side for later. Get your wok or saute pan ripping hot. I'm gonna be cooking my veg in batches, which is key to a traditional stir fry. Make sure to drop some olive oil ghee. Start with the onions and make sure to season every veg individually. After one minute of cooking, remove to a stunt bowl off to the side. Next up, carrots. Asparagus. Cauliflower. Zucchini. Bell peppers. Snap peas and water chestnuts. And baby corn. Then add all the kids back into the pool and finish it with the sauce. Cook for one minute. You're done. Yum. Let's eat. Hi guys. How are you guys doing? Mmm, sounds good. So I'm just, I just got a book. My dad bought for me in the book fair. And it reminds me of one of these um, things, I don't know. I forgot what it is, but Goofy was excited because the, he drove by a thing called, a place called Potato Land, and it's called the Couch Potato, and it is a potato. So, if you're watching Goofy, this is the white book to show you why 
potatoes off these potatoes that I stink because they got eaten. Good job, Rainbow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what that potato looks. It's time for some alibis. It's really good. I like like the spices that are in it. I think you put edible and magic stuff. Ding ding ding. Well, I taste the edible and magic stuff. What do you put in this? It's magic. But I taste like the seasoning. Like, something just like gave me a kick of good stuff, just like to push the flavor. I like the sauce because it actually tastes good. When I'm blown, it's not too like, it's not too sweet, not too savory, it's perfect. It's like a balance. Say you're trying to balance on the type of balance, like this. But if you could balance, this is the way you could balance. Put your arms out and then. So it's actually like that. So I can't believe how good it is. I think that it's too good. I need a whole plate of this. Bye-bye. It's time for some egg bites. Whoa, look at this delicious stir fry. Oh boy, it's so good. You know, my favorite, um, well, my two favorite vegetables like in a stir fry are the water chestnuts because they're nice and crisp and crunchy, but baby corn. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, um, I've loved baby corn. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen that Mickey Mouse cartoon, um, when it's Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, and they're in like a trailer, but Mickey makes them breakfast, and he makes them corn for breakfast. Um, and they're eating the corn cob like a the typewriter. I used to try to do that with these little babies. I was very unsuccessful, but they're still delicious. Time for some advice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The crispness of those veggies, the the punch of flavor from the seasoning, but the kicker, like I mentioned earlier, the kicker to this stir fry is that super delicious stir fry sauce. Edible Ed, you've done it again. <laughs> Great job, Edible Ed. Oh man, you did it again, buddy. So with this stir fry, you could eat this over rice or mix in some noodles. Um, you could add whatever protein you want to it, but it's that simple, it's really easy. And you, like I said, you put whatever else you want in it, but this is the very basis, very basic. The very basic foundation of this recipe is very easy. But add on to it as you'd like. You're the chef in your kitchen. Do whatever you want. Thanks for watching this all new episode of Edible Leds. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. Ring the bell, ding ding, all that cool stuff. Uh, check the website, all that cool stuff. <laughs> do all the cool stuff. But thank you for being cool and watching. I will see you here again next week. Bye everybody. Yeah.